Hello friends, in this tutorial session, I'm going to show you how to compile and run C and C++ program inside Notepad++. I will explain you whole process step by step. Let's get started with this step one. In the step one, we need one plugin, which is NPPEXEC, and we need to install it inside the Notepad++. To do that, we have to go to the plugins menu, then plugin manager, then we have to go show plugin manager. Before going to start, there is a note. You must connect it with the internet and this is required to download the plugin. So guys, here we go. On the top menu, click here on this plugin, then go to the plugin manager, then click here on this show plugin manager option. So you will see this window and uh, all these plugins will be populated right here in front of you. So here we have to find out the NPP exec. So I'm looking for that here. I found it. So this is the same. I was looking for select it. Click on the install button and uh, you will see uh, the small pop up window and this is downloading the plugin and installing on the fly. And then you will see this warning message. So it's just for uh, verification. So click yes. And uh, then you will see this message click here. Yes. So this will take a flip and uh, window will prompt you a confirmation box. So press yes. And then the installation will be finished. And now in the inside the notepad, you will be here. Uh, so we have uh, installed our NPP exact plugin. Now it's time to move on the second step. In the second step, guys, we need to install MinGW uh, for our Windows 32 and 64 bit. And uh, to do that, you guys have to watch my tutorial how to install it. And this is the link and same link given in the description box. You can copy from that place. Basically, this is the video on code block installation and setup in which I have uh, explained about the MinGW installation and setup. So guys, please watch that part and uh, complete this step two and then come back here and continue with this video. So we will continue from the step three. If you guys have already MinGW installed, so before going to proceed, please check it. This is working on your system or not. To do that, we have to open the command prompt. And here in this command prompt, we have to type simple command GCC hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Within second, you will see this message from the GCC and this will show you the compiler version MinGW 6.3.0 as you can see this is installed on my machine now I just closed it so we have completed our step 3 but this is the first part of step 3 now we have to do more thing here in this step again we will go here on the plugin menu item then we will click on this option NPP exec then we will click on the execute option so I'm taking you there so guys, what we are going to do, we are going to create a script and we have to add this script inside the execute window. So we will see this thing practically. So after creation of this script, we will save this with a particular name. So we can differentiate between already created scripts. Go to the plugins and here you will see the option NPP exec after the installation of plugin go here click on this execute and this window will appear guys in this window you will see this editor area and uh, which is the commands or you can call it a script and uh, if you have if you are doing this thing first time so this window will be blank and we have to type or we have to write this script here in this box so first you have to copy this script from the description please check the description for this script i have already provided here and uh, just copy and come back here in this box paste it and please 
erase the unnecessary spaces uh, like uh, I am removing it right now in front of you okay all the spaces removed and now let me explain you about this npb underscore save the first command means if you write anything on the notepad and you are going to execute or compile so notepad plus plus prompt you a save dialog box so you can provide a name and you can save it and this is the cd dollar current directory that means in which directory you have just saved your file so this will look your file at that place for the compile and run then gcc is a very clear and in front of that we have the file name so whatever the file name you have just saved that file will be compiled and at this line that file will be executed because after the compilation we will get a.exe this is intermediary file or an executable file for your program so at last line we are simply executing that program now once you click on the save button this will ask you to give a useful name to your script so i am going to uh, give a new name because i have already created one so i have just renamed it and given a new name version 2 and click here on the save so your script is saved now you can verify it click on this drop down and whatever name you have given that will be display here I am getting multiple names because I have already created one more script for Java and one practical for the C, C++. Once you click OK and this console window will appear and few more things will be printed here on the console. So don't worry about that. We have finished our step 3. Okay. Now it's time to check. It's Now it's time to verify our script or the setup we have done for our C, C++ program compilation okay guys for that simply open a new by pressing and control n or just clicking on the blank space and simply type a simple C++ program or C program whatever you want so first I'm going to simply print hello cool IT help and now I will go here in the plugin and I will go here npb exec or I will click here on the execute so this window will appear in front of you because this is giving you a choice to run your command that means to run your C++ program or C program so in the drop down select the appropriate one which you have just created in the last step and then once you click OK, this will ask you to save your file on your directory or in a folder. So please save your file with the name .cpp or .c. So first I am saving uh, this file with the .c extension. This file is just saved. And you will see here in the console the activities is going on. Process is started and the current directory is located and file is found then gcc command is executed on the file and the file is compiled and then an intermediary executable file is generated then next command picked up that file and executed your program and finally we got the results finally we got the output hello cool it help and the last message is process finished so here we have seen our script or the setup is working perfectly fine execution is successful now guys I have just saved it with the C now I will do new thing I will save I will create a program and then I will save the file with dot cpp extension so I will use the same code and but I will create a new file and then I will put the same code here so I will change it test2 and this is the file and now again you have to go to the plugins then go to the npp exec then click here on the execute this window will appear and now select the appropriate script name okay here's the right one and click ok 
so execution will take place before execution this will ask you to save your file now I'm going to save my file with .cpp extension because I want to show you here that both extension is getting compiled with this setup okay now I'm going to save it with .cpp extension click on the save button and file saved and uh, immediately you can see activities on the console file saved directory located GCC executed on your CPP file then an intermediary executable file a.exe generated and then this is executed by the last command and we got the result test to cool IT help and guys you can see here this is the intermediary file which is getting executed by the last statement of this script so guys we have seen we executed C and C++ program now I'm going back to here in this notepad so we will look into the step 5 this is the important one step in this step we will see compile and run activity can be done with the help of hotkey or we can create a shortcut key to do that go to the plugins and pp exec and then you have to come here at downside click advanced option then a small window will appear guys you can see on the right hand side we have a hotkey which is set to f9 and we have a many choices you can reset from f9 to any key of your choice but f9 is most popular so i'm not going to change it on here the left hand side you can see there's a drop down associated script you can select this associate script and then click here on this button add and modify so a uh, one item will be added at this place means uh, this uh, menu item with the item name will be displayed on the top menu under the plugins so I will show you where this will be displayed so select it and if you want to change the name of menu item you can do it you can change this name uh, you can provide a short name like C C++ compile and uh, after setting the hotkey click here on this ok so this will show you the message click ok and now we will see the shortcut key so go to the plugins and then you have to click npp exec and uh, you will come downside you will see C C++ compile and run the shortcut that we have created once you select it directly compiled and run this will not show you the previous pop-up box in which we were seeing this script so this can directly launch it if you press f9 a shortcut key or hot key so this will show you this script box so to avoid this you can simply create a shortcut so we have seen how to create a shortcut for our script now i will show you uh, the shortcut key combination so here go to the settings and then here click on the shortcut mapper then this a small window will appear so guys basically uh, we have the menu items and we have the shortcuts key combination for that now click here on this plugin commands tab and then just scroll down and look for the name that you have given for your shortcut so we found this at position 36 just in front of that you can see there is no shortcut once you click and modify it you will see a small window will appear so here we can create a combination with alt shift or control or any combination with these keys one two three four five six a to z and we have uh, the other keys as well so we will do a more simple and uh, easy to learn and we will do a combination easy to remind so i am simply uh, selecting alt plus e so pointing e for execution and uh, not changing the script name leaving that thing as it is click ok and you will see the shortcut will be added here now we can close it now we will do a test on it so simply uh, open any program file 
and uh, simply uh, press that key add plus e and you will see the execution will take place but guys in our case we are getting some error so there's a duplication of the shortcut key that is um, creating trouble here so we will rectify it right now i will show you how i'm going to do it go to the settings shortcut mapper and this window will appear now we have to go plugins command and then we will see at line number 35 we have the same kind of uh, key combination and plus e which is already there but the script is incorrect association of the script is incorrect so i am changing that one to none that means the previous script combination will not create any trouble now we have a unique key combination associated with the right script now we will do again a test run so press alt plus e and guys very soon you will see the activities on he console and uh, you will see program execution takes place and finally we got the output hello cool id help so program execution is successful and this shortcut key is working perfectly fine so guys you have seen the complete process to compile and run your C and C++ program inside the notepad++. And this is the final step guys. To appreciate our work, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And guys for now, thanks for watching. Cool ID help.